The other thing that's been coming up a little bit talking to the golf clubs and private sector this week is people not realizing that they have to enroll for pensions. One company, very small, hadn't registered with HMRC for as an employer, which is a bit strange that you would not think, oh, I've got, I'm employing somebody. I, what do I need to do? Let me go and Google that. And then secondly, the pension. What do I need to do for the pension? So this person is now retiring and they've never made any pension contributions. And that could be that they've never qualified. Absolutely. But at the moment, they don't actually know whether they qualified or not or what they were doing because it was run by a committee of volunteers and nobody really wanted to do that boring stuff. So nobody did. So it's just making sure that, uh, that some of these compliance things which are really quite important because if he was entitled to be enrolled and he wasn't, that £5,000 fine straight away, there was a golf club actually back in 2017 who didn't do this, and they were getting a fine every quarter of £5,000 because they were just not getting it. And eventually the committee realised actually that the club manager was not doing their job and they were parted with and they signed up etc etc but it's just it can get really expensive really quickly if you're not fulfilling your obligations thanks for watching if you want a free tribunal audit of your employment contract and handbook click the link in the description below